Inflammatory bowel disease is a very complex disorder and we use both medication and surgical treatment depending on what's most appropriate at the time. Uh, the goal of treatment is really to prolong remission, meaning when you're feeling well, and reduce relapse, meaning that when you're having symptoms. And to that end, in terms of medications, we use this class of drugs called misalamines. They come in all shapes and sizes and names, but basically you take it by mouth or through an enema or a suppository and it works topically, meaning that it works when it touches the area that's affected so it doesn't get absorbed in your bloodstream and it's quite effective and it has very minimal side effects. And so it's an ideal therapy if it works, but all too often it's not sufficient. So we also have steroids. Steroids have side effects and so we're very careful about using steroids. And while steroids can reduce a relapse, it really doesn't have a role in maintaining remission. There are topical forms of steroids that you can take by mouth that work like the misalamines that are safer, um, but it takes longer to be effective, whereas prednisone is quickly effective but it has the side effects. Then we have immune modulators. We know that inflammatory bowel disease is caused by an overactive immune system. So if we could suppress the immune system, we could help IBD. Immune modulators help us do that, but they work slowly. So if you're in the middle of a flare, it won't help you today, but it might be a medicine that your doctor uses to try to prevent future flares. But it does come at a cost. There is the theoretical risk of lymphoma, and there are some non-basal cell skin cancers that can occur, and it can reduce your white blood cell count, so you have to be careful. Last but not least, and the most important, is biologic therapy. Biologic therapy are these small targeted drugs that, that really pinpoint at a very molecular level a point in your inflammatory cascade, inflammation. And they're all very potent, they reduce relapse, they prolong remission, and it's really quite a godsend for many of our IBD patients.